This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Coaching You have to be smart enough to understand the game and dumb enough to think it matters. Peter Griffin Would you classify yourself as a stage parent, over-invested in your child's success? Did you ever coach your daughter's soccer or basketball teams? What in your view makes for a good coach, a good teacher? Is a good writer, by definition, a bad teacher and vice versa? Are you a bad teacher, a good teacher, a good enough teacher? A good enough teacher in the Winnicottian sense. Prefer undergrads or grad students or adults. When you played doubles on your high school tennis team, did you suffer from what Wallace said he suffered from? A bad head? Are there bad heads and then really bad heads? Is there a sense in which you're all too sane? Didn't Joe Wenderoth, of all people, once call you refreshingly normal? Do you subscribe wholly to the Flaubertian dictum to be a bourgeois in life so you can be a radical in your art? Do you share my contempt for Greenpoint hipsters who look and act cool, but whose work is about as challenging as a Toblerone bar? Did you ever study with Gordon Lish? What did he like about your bracelet come moi? Do you model yourself after his teaching style? If not Lishian, perhaps more Hawks-like. Are you more of an encourager? A coach, for lack of a better term? A mentor? A cheerleader? Comrade? Companion? Older brother? Tough love shrink? Is the entire workshop model an obsolete one, and if so, have you not benefited from a model that is not only deeply authoritarian and patriarchal, but also inherently racist, misogynistic, and anti-democratic? Why didn't you reinvent the pedagogy? Oh, you did. You count that as reinvention. How do you offer suggestions to students about their work?